Welcome, I'm Ernie Goss. I'm Professor of Economics, McAllister Chair at Creighton University here in beautiful downtown Omaha, Nebraska. As always, on the first business day of the month, of course, this is the last business day, last, last first business day of summer, the summer. So next time we'll be, I'll be joining you, will be on October the 3rd, the first business day of fall. So our overall, and again, we're, I'm reporting on business conditions for the nine states, mid-American region stretching from, uh, from North Dakota, Minnesota in the north, to right down the middle of the country to Oklahoma and Arkansas in the south. Now, what did our August survey tell us about the regional economy? Of course, this is a regional economy. It's dependent, very dependent on agriculture and energy, two sectors that have not been doing well. The overall index was below growth neutral for the second straight month. That's after five consecutive months above growth neutral. So agriculture is weakening, energy is not strengthening, and of course oil prices is moving down again to $40 a barrel. That's not good for North Dakota, not good for Oklahoma, two of our states. The overall index did increase from, to, from July's 47.6 to 47.8, but folks, that's still not good. It's below growth neutral, but it's still not a recession. Here I'm going to bring up a chart that shows you the overall numbers, and you see there in beautiful Creighton blue, the mid-American region moving sideways, as you see there, some almost sideways. The, na the U.S. number comes out in, there in red. It'll come out later on this morning. I expect it to be up for the month. Now, of course, that means the gap between the two is growing, it means the U.S. is somewhat stronger than the, the mid-American, that's U.S. manufacturing. Why is that? Agriculture and energy, they're much more important for this part of the country. Two sectors and are not doing well. The job index for August was 44.0. That is obviously is not good. That's down from July's 46.9. We ask about how much you expect to grow, you increase wages at your business over the next year, 2.1%. That's about what we expect, not good. Uh, the overall regions lost 22,000 manufacturing jobs over the last 12 months, 22,000. That's 1.6, uh, that's 1.6% loss, job loss in manufacturing. But the overall economy has gained 102,000 jobs. That's 0.8, that's eight tenths of 1%. So the point here is we've got a, a bifurcated, we've got two economies going on here. Manufacturing, especially related to agriculture and energy, not doing well. But the other side, more the urban areas, the urban, the urban, uh, urban uh, jobs, doing quite well. That would be, of course, professional business services, housing, and other uh, uh, industries that are located more in the urban areas. Now, over, uh, for over the past year, now, what has been the greatest economic challenge, the four out of ten businesses said that it was because of the economic slowdown, and that's not surprising. The prices paid index, which tracks wholesale prices, was up from, uh, was down actually from July 60.8 down to August's 56.5. Now, what does that mean? Inflationary pressures remain modest. Of course, agricultural prices are coming down. Energy prices remaining sort of in a range, but ag prices coming down because of the strong dollar. Now, what to watch for next month or in the, in the coming month? August jobs report comes out Friday. That would be September the 2nd. Very, very important release. That comes out from Bureau of Labor Statistics. If it's 200,000 or above, lock it in, the Fed's going to be raising rates on their meet, at their meeting September the 20th and 21st. Very important. So if it's weaker, eh, then it may not raise until their December meeting. Watch out, keep an eye on the CPI for August. That comes out uh, around September the 14th. That number, the core, that excludes food and energy, has risen by uh, over 2% over the last nine months. It, it, if it comes down, that could put a little bit of a damp, have a dampening impact on any Fed rate hikes. Keep an eye on the yield of the 10-year and two-year Treasury. The two-year yield is going to be tracking upward as the Fed raises rates. The 10-year could even come down. So those two, now why would the 10-year come down? Increasing risk. Why is the two-year going up? Federal Reserve rate increases. Now what are the risk factors going forward? Uh, keep uh, the stronger U.S. dollar. That's very. That's a very big risk if it increases significantly for this part of the country. Again, because of food and energy, those prices come down 
come down when the dollar goes up in value. That's what I expect to happen. Higher short-term interest rates, if they rise more than I anticipate right now, I anticipate uh, 25 basis points to 35 basis points. Now, what does that mean? A quarter, that's, that's a little bit more between uh, 30, uh, but a little over a quarter percent over the next several months. That's what I expect. Um, now here's a big risk factor, a swoon, a real significant downturn in the stock market. Now why might that happen? We've had three, we've got a profits recession going on here. Profits are coming down, corporate profits. At the same time, interest rates are ticking upward. That's not a good combination. We could have a real significant decline in the stock market. That would be a real risk factor because again, those dividend checks you're getting, those are coming out of borrowed money. A lot of companies are paying out more than they're earning. How do they do that? They borrow at these very attractive interest rates. So as interest rates rise, they do less of that. Well, that's it folks. Thank you for tuning in, joining in, viewing in for our, our report for the month of August. This is, I'm Ernie Goss here reporting for Creighton University, a Mid-American Business Conditions Index. Until we, I see you again, or you see me again, or we meet on the street, till, till then, until October the 3rd, when I'll be reporting on business conditions for the month of September. May your economic cup runneth over, and thank you.